Well, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for tuning in. Just seeing the news the other day, Seattle ranked third, most desirable place to live. Perhaps people would have put us at number one or number two if they had known that we have a full service cat salon right here in the Northwest. I always thought cats sort of did a self service thing, but no, a full service cat salon. Michael King has the story. Michael? Hey guys, Tang here is having a bad hair day. In fact, he's kind of had a bad hair week, but that is about to change. Ah! And you can see how excited Tang is about getting a new look. He's about to experience his first ever lion cut here at City Kitty Salon in Edmonds. So he's only 11 and a half pounds. He looks bigger, but he's just full of hair. Adrian Kawamura is a certified feline master groomer, one of only four in the entire world. Kind of started out small with a plastic chair and a $12 blow dryer to see if it would work. And here I am about 1,400 clients later. After breeding and showing champion Persians in Hawaii for years, people kept asking me to groom their cats. She moved here in 2000 to open up the salon. Tang will go from your everyday matted house cat to sleek, proud lion in mere minutes. His spa experience includes soft music, aromatherapy, a pedicure, Good job, a facial, and most unusual, even for high-end spas, salmon toothpaste. He thoroughly enjoyed the first few treatments, as is apparent. His owner, Chuck, looks on as Adrian uncovers the lion within. I think my favorite part is shaving down a matted cat because I know they're gonna feel really good afterwards and they instantly know you're trying to help them. We're gonna get all those mats off. This wouldn't necessarily be Tang's favorite part, but he can take it. Long-haired cats are man-made breeds, so... So it's a little bit more than what they can handle grooming themselves. They need human intervention for sure. As the shearing extends to his chest, Tang actually seems to get into it, and you can see the lions starting to emerge. And I think they sense that you're trying to help them. After a quick tease of the mane, it's time for the feline hydration therapy chamber. Amongst themselves, cats just call it the sink. I think the hardest step is bathing because unless a cat has been bathed since it was a baby, um, they're not used to it and they, they have a tendency to kind of panic when they first get in the water. He tries to make a break for it when the water starts flowing. Adrian's clients do have claws. I do have a few scars, but it is not like what most people think. They're actually pretty calm. We try and keep a very calm spa-like atmosphere in here. Chuck thinks it's hilarious. Tang does not, but he makes it to the hot oil rub. Ah, now you're talking. Just because they are independent doesn't mean they don't have needs. Another quick rinse and it's onto the blow dry room. Some airbrushing, and voila! Okay, Chuck, he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Oh, you look good, buddy. So in about an hour, this scruffy Persian becomes the king of his jungle. We liked it especially because this is cats only, and we didn't want to have um, him around uh, dogs. I mean, that's just not the right environment, so this is just perfect. And Tang is the Lion King. And here at City Kitty, they have actually a pretty cool recycling program going. They're using some of the old fur to make yarn, so you can make a sweater or some gloves, some pants out of cat fur, whatever you want to make. So information can be had about this place at king5.com. Thank you, Michael. Just let you know, if you're paying attention, Tang got the lion cut, by the way, with the hot oil treatment for $90. And if you've got a cat with short hair, well, guess what? That cat can enjoy getting its hair cut as well for just $40. Now, if you have a dog and you're out walking your dog, you know the...